All right, greetings math people. In today's video, we have another uh, comparison between the TI Inspire and the HP Prime. So this is our part two video of the Inspire uh, versus the Prime. Uh, in a part one video, we looked mainly at, well, not mainly, we, we looked at things as like the design of each calculator. Uh, we looked at some of the efficiency and the usability, like the uh, ability to do certain operations, not necessarily the performance of those operations, but just the ability, how easy, how easy is it to do a numerical derivative? How easy is it to go from uh, function to graph uh, to say an x intercept how easy is it to do a definite integral so that's kind of some of the things we looked at uh, in the first video and in this particular video we're going to look at operational performance so we're basically going to look at how fast can it do uh, certain operations um, well i say certain operations mainly we're going to be looking at doing definite integrals and we're going to look at some some definite integrals that are pretty tough for a calculator to handle and we're going to see uh, which one of these calculators can handle those tough uh, definite integrals uh, quicker so this is uh, like a comparison of, of which one has has the faster motor uh, if you will and uh, these again as we said in the first video and we'll put a link to the first video at, at the top uh, these are comparable calculators so it's, it's not like they're not in the same league they're, they're definitely in the same league it's it's not like a, a scientific calculator versus a ti-89 you know something that can't even be compared these are comparable calculators they're, they're on the same level uh, their cost is about the same uh, i looked at the cost prior to the to part one video and it was roughly the same cost so these are these are very comparable uh, calculators uh, in the same league and I, I make that statement because um, when you see the results uh, of these comparison tests we do there's gonna be a clear winner no no doubt about it one calculator is going to perform uh, significantly better uh, than the other so there will be a, a definite winner uh, in this particular comparison you know in the first video uh, the prime was better at certain things uh, the Inspire was better at certain things and certain things, you know, was a, were a tie. Uh, in this particular video, there will be no doubt about it which calculator performs better. So let's go ahead and, and do the performance. So let me power these calculators on. And I should already have the functions in that I want to do. So we look at your feed so you can see it a little bit clearer uh, because the screen's a little bit bigger you, you can see the function a little bit clearer on the prime and base I have two functions um, uh, in f1 in, in both of these I got a function in in f1 and a function f2 and uh, f1 I have 5 times the sine of e to the 5 x squared and in F2, I have just the sine uh, x squared. And I have the same thing in the, the Inspire. And, you know, I guess maybe a plus about the Inspire is when I'm in, in, the, in the graphing page, when you see the function, you see the graph at the same time. So F1 is in blue. Uh, you can see it's a very funky graph, uh, which is going to make its, its definite integral pretty tough to calculate it, which is why we chose it. And F2 is in red. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little better. You know, on the, on the prime, you know, once I type the function in, if I want to actually, you know, look at the graph, I'm going to have to hit this plot number. And then you can see a similar graph. Uh, this was zoomed in a, a little bit, so that's why the graphs, well, the, the windows are different, so that's why the graphs don't look the same thing. Uh, one thing, even though this video is, is all about uh, performance, uh, one thing I did not mention, which is an, an obvious plus uh, for the Prime and compared to the Inspire, is that you know the Prime is touchscreen. So it's a touchscreen calculator. Uh, uh, the Inspire is not so that, that's that's a key uh, that's a key deal as far as um, the operation of the calculator and uh, it's it's a lot better for for zooming in and out because of this 
this touch screen feature and moving the graph around a little bit. It's, it's a lot easier to do it uh, with your fingers uh, uh, versus, you know, uh, zoom, you know, going to zoom in, finding the center and, and hitting enter uh, subsequent time. So that's, that's just a plus for the prime, but it's not really what we're comparing here. So uh, let's go to the calculating stage. And so that on the prime, I just hit escape and on the inspire, I'll just go to the, the what I have my, my first page. And what we'll do is we'll integrate We'll integrate the first function and we'll start off from negative 10 to 10. So I'll type the integral in both calculators and then I'll hit enter at the same time and we'll see uh, which calculator calculates this particular guy faster. And I'm going to integrate uh, the second function. So the function f of two and a function f of two is just the sine of x squared. And I'm, I'm saving uh, the, the function in f1 for last for a particular reason. So let me go ahead and just type this in both calculators first. So we're going to integrate and we'll start off like we'll go from negative 10 to 10 and we're doing F2 negative 10 to 10 DX and let's type the same guy in the old prime so we're doing a definite integral negative 10 to 10 and we're doing f2 so uh, we're going to hit variable function symbolic and we're going to choose f2 all right dx and so you can look there and, and you know this is the type of things we did in the first video. Which one was it easier, you know, just to type that in for. Now, we go ahead and hit enter. This is not a bad, this is not a bad uh, integral. And I didn't, I didn't try, I have an 84 here as well. I didn't try to see, you know, what, how it would perform on the 84, but I'm pretty sure the 84 would have problems doing this one. But let's go ahead, we're gonna hit enter at the same time on both calculators and see who gets this guy first. Okay, I got an invalid input. Oh, I'm sorry. So I know what I did. I forgot to put F2 of X on the prime. So uh, let me go back. I apologize so much. So let's do that again. So let's go from negative 10 to 10. And again, let's pull this function. And let's make sure it's F2 of X, the DX. All right, so let's, uh, let's go back to it on Inspire. Okay, now let's hit enter at the same time again. Bam, we got it on Inspire and slightly behind, excuse me, <laughs> Uh, I did this a lot to, in the first video. Uh, we got it on the prime first and then slightly behind, we got the answer on the Inspire. It was fairly close, but the, the prime uh, did get it first. Now, the bigger I make the limits of this integral, uh, the harder the calculator, the harder time the calculator is gonna have uh, doing the calculation. And so as, as I do that, which calculator is superior is, is going to stand out uh, very lucidly. So let me go back and let me pull this up and let me pull this up and let's change the limits and uh, let's go from negative 20 to 20. So we got negative 20 on the prime. And let's go negative 20 to 20 on the good old Inspire. Now this is a pretty tough one. So let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna hit enter at the same time, see which calculator wins and by what margin. 
Bam. We got it on the Prime. Inspire is still working. We got it almost instantly on the Prime. Bam. Now the Inspire just popped up. So there um, you can see uh, the Prime, the, the level of separation was, was a little bit more uh, than it was on the first one. And, and as we in, as we make the calculation more difficult, uh, the difference between the Prime uh, and the Inspire is going to become more drastic. Um, so let me again, same functions, just an easy function to use for this operation. Let's change the limits again. So I'm going to make something that that is very makes it very distinctful. Um, so I'm going to go negative 40 to 40. So there, there of course are, are certain limits I, I did in, in preparation for this video. And so th there, there are some, I, I think by now, like I, I can hold the suspense. I, I think you're seeing that the, the HP prime is going to perform superior. So th there are some, some limits, like for instance, I did negative 100 to hundred. I don't think I'm going to do this on this video you know, where it took the prime, maybe 45 seconds and it made, it took the inspire, you know, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. So it, it was that drastic. So I don't want to do anything like that. So I'm going to try negative 40 to 40. That's not one I did in preparation. Like in preparation I did, you know, I did after uh, 20 and 20, I believe I went from uh, negative 100 to 100, but I don't think that's going to be a good one to do. I think negative 40 and 40 should give us a good idea of, of the class of these calculators. All right, I'm going to hit enter again, same time. Okay, they're both thinking. They're both thinking. So this is a good one. Bam, we got our answer on the prime. Inspire still thinking, still calculating, still working, still calculating, still working. Still calculating, still working. Okay, it's still working on it. So as we wait on the Inspire, and I'll try to keep an eye on it, uh, I think we, we have proven uh, that the, the HP Prime, in, in terms of performance, oh, the, the Inspire has, has given us an answer. The HP Prime, in terms of performance, is a superior calculator, by far bar none, it's a superior calculator in, in, in this respect. Now, let's lastly, so I had this function, this function that I had in F1, and the function I had in F1, it was uh, five sine uh, to the E five X squared. It's a funky function, you saw the graph. And, and so I'm just gonna integrate that function from one to five and watch what happens. So again, I think, you know, the suspense is over. The HP Prime performs better. It's the winner. It's the clear winner here. But I want you to see the degree of how much better it is uh, than the Inspire with this particular problem. So let's, let's go ahead and put it in. So here we're going to be integrating F1. And we're just going to go from 1 to 5. So we have F1 of X. And we're just going from one to five, believe it or not. The X. And I'm a good old Inspire. One to five. And we're doing F1. of X. The X. All right. Watch what happens here, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to hit enter at the same time. Bam. Look what came up on the Inspire. Trig function argument too big for accurate reduction. It can't even do it. The Inspire cannot do this calculation too big can't handle it okay sorry you couldn't help me out on that one guy 
let's see if, if the prime can handle it. Prime is still thinking, still working, still thinking. Maybe it's too big for the prime. Bam, we got an answer. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I rest my case. It's clear. On this last one, we saw a calculation that the Inspire cannot even handle, and the Prime did it in less than 30 seconds. So in terms of operational performance, at least in finding definite integrals, and I know I only looked at two, two integrals, but trust me, find any integral you're gonna find. I, I challenge you to find an integral that the Inspire does faster than the Prime. So if, if you can find such, a, such an example of one out there, please let me know. But uh, we can say without qualification that the HP Prime is a superior calculator in terms of operational performance. Now, I don't have a dog in this race. Um, I've actually, I'm actually somewhat affiliated with both calculators. Um, the Inspire, and so you, some people may not know this, you know, the prototype of the Inspire was this big bulky calculator where you change face plates. Um, I actually was involved in some of the product development in terms of on the market research side of that particular calculator. So, and I used to have one of those, that bulky, I, I think I threw it away because I wasn't able to find it, but it was a real bulky guy. It wasn't around for that long that that was their prototype Inspire. So this is a new, uh, somewhat of, of a newer version of the Inspire. And with the Prime, I wasn't involved in any type of market research in its development, but, but I was a part of something that was, you know, in, in essence, uh, trying to expose, trying to promote the calculator, basically. I was a part of, of, of something where uh, people were trying to expose us to it, uh, to promote the calculator. Because like I said in a part one video, uh, I don't see a lot of students walking around with HP primes. Most students I see that have calculators have TIs, uh, whether they're Inspires or 84s. Uh, you know, if it's a student from another country, particularly Asia uh, or Africa, they tend to have Casios. I guess those are pretty, pretty popular uh, in those particular countries. But, you know, I I have yet to see anyone come with an HP Prime. And quite honestly, I think people are missing out. I think in both videos, the part one and part two, I think we, we demonstrated that this is a high, this HP Prime is a high quality calculator uh, worthy of your consumption. And again, I'm not working uh, with the people of HP. I don't have a dog in the race. I do have an HP Prime shirt, however, but this is going back when I was, you know, uh, doing doing the, the deal when they were trying to promote the calculator. So I don't have a horse to race, even though I have a shirt. I actually had a shirt from uh, the TI Inspire thing that I did. I was gonna, you know, have both shirts, but I couldn't find that, that particular shirt. I'm not sure where it is. It's probably in the closet somewhere. I was unable to find it. But anyway, those are the results of our comparison. If you're looking for a good calculator, uh, look into the HP Prime. As you can see, it's a high quality calculator and we'll see you next time.